Hey y'all, today I am starting my new journey. I had natural, not natural, I had locks in the past. I cut my locks and I started wearing braids. Y'all saw in all my videos, but today I am going to get micro locks. I chose micro locks over sister locks for no real reason, but the fact that it's easier to get micro locks or to get um, maintenance to your micro locks as it is to sister locks because in, for, in order to have sister locks, you have to have a licensed trained certified consultant um i don't want to say licensed and the lady i found that does micro locks does a super really good job her pictures look really good and i'm here now so okay y'all so at this point she was trying to show me the difference between two strand twist and interlock having an interlock the entire way because I didn't really know what I wanted. I thought I wanted interlock because on the pictures, to me, it looked better. But after careful consideration, I decided to just go with the double strand twist. Yeah, let's see if you that take a lot longer, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So at this point, y'all, I think I was 11 hours in. She had just finished double stranded, and now she was going over to actually start interlocking my hair. So y'all keep watching so I can show y'all the finished product. All right, so this is how it started, and this is how it ended. I am so in love. This is exactly what I want. It's exactly what I asked for. I'm so happy that we did that talk in the beginning and I found out that double strands will still look as good as I wanted to. I love these double strands because it really looks like my hair is just natural. And that is the look that I want. I love natural hair. And then once my hair actually grows in and it starts to fall, it's going to really, 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 really give me that look that I really, really want. So, so far, so good. I want y'all to keep watching because I'm going to show y'all my first week with my locks i'm gonna show y'all what i've been doing to keep up my locks and i'm gonna show y'all all the stuff that i've been using y'all like it because i love it hey y'all it's officially been one week I know I'm wearing the same sweater as I was last time, but I promise you, it really has been one week. So it's been one week since I got my micro locks and I am still in love, just as in love as I was that night when I left. Altogether, it wound up taking 11 hours and I went to somebody by the name of Lock by Coy, uh, Coy sorry, Lock by Coy. I will link her in the description. Um, she's in Louisiana and she's really, really good. I just want to kind of tell y'all what basically what we went through when I got there. So when I first got there, I really thought I wanted interlocks the whole way. I want I want everything interlocked. So what she did was, you know, we talked, and you'll see that on the video, or you did see that on the video, where she showed me what it would look like interlocked versus what it would look like double stranded. So these are double strand twists. I had no idea that it would look this nice, but you know, I just really liked it, right? So these are double strands. She double strand everything, and then she went back and she interlocked it. I know my hair doesn't look that long, but it's actually six and a half inches. So my hair is pretty long. It doesn't look long because I have a lot of shrinkage, but that's all the way. That's my hair, right? And eventually, it's gonna fall as it gets long. It's gonna fall. It's gonna be really, really beautiful. But one of my dilemmas, in addition to trying to determine, you know, what I wanted was. I wasn't sure how everything was gonna look with this undercut because when I tell you I went online and I searched micro locks, I searched sister locks, I searched everything, but it was so difficult to find somebody that had an undercut. Um, and I really did not find many. I might've found one or two, but it, and I couldn't find their pages to see what their hair looked like. So I really didn't know how my hair was gonna look. But I still decided to go ahead and I went with the double strand because to me, double strand with the curl at the end looks more like natural hair. And that's actually the look I was going for. The interlock made it a little bit longer, but it wasn't as fluffy. So what she told me was that double strand is going to give you the volume and the interlock is going to give you the length. 
I wanted volume because I have this undercut. I wanted something to kind of, you know, balance it out. I didn't just want long twists in my head. So I can look like one of those wrappers with the stuff on the side. I didn't want that. I wanted mine to look like, you know, my natural hair. So if you look and you see, that just look like I got curls in my head. You'll never know these are double strands unless I literally tell you, right? So like I said, I went ahead and I went with the double strand. I went with the interlock. Took us 11 hours, but I'm still happy. I'm pleased. If I had to do it, I would do it again. I just can't wait till my hair grows. However, I really, really do like how this undercut looks. And I have this really, really cool barber um, that I am so happy to be a part of his, his client base. I can't wait till this dude touch my hair because he does some really good things. I have a good, a couple of good barbers on my team, but there's one in, in particular that I can't wait till he cuts my hair because he does such a good job. I'm kind of scared because I don't want to lose it because it's, it's so cute, but I want him to hit my line. I want him to do something because I think that's it. It's the one right here. Um, my maintenance routine, basically what I do at night, I do sleep with a bonnet. I have a silk bonnet with an adjustable strap. I will link it in the description. We're not supposed to really put anything in our hair. The only thing I use is this water bottle. Will be linked as water. It's a little cloudy. That's because it's oil inside. And the oil that I choose to um, that I chose to go with is the peppermint oil. So I put that a little bit in here, shake it up, and that's what I spritz my hair with. It's really like a little mist. That's pretty much all. It kind of it has a lot of essential benefits that comes from peppermint oil and it's a very light oil smells really good so i will put all that information in the description as well that's all i put on my hair now on the sides i bought a sponge and i sponged the sides to kind of give it that little i got twist look and my best friend my brush so i always brush it brush my little edges brush the little front and make it look good and fresh at all times and since I can't get to the barber sometimes as much as I really, really would like to, I went on DH Gate or AliExpress, one of them, and I bought myself some clippers. This cost me like eight or nine dollars, but it's gonna save me so much time. And it's gonna keep me looking fresh because all I do literally is I pull it out, and I, I mean, I did kind of cut my eyebrow a little bit off, but that's neither here nor there. I just kind of gotta do that when I'm cutting it. But anyway, I thought I was kind of getting good, and I did it without holding my eyebrow down. But eyebrows do go back <laughs> but anyway i do cut my hair i did do my own lines you don't do anything at the top you just leave it and then the sides is just the same right so your sides you make it round some barbers you go to they want to make you look like a boy so i got boxes all right here and threes on it i didn't want all that i just wanted a round look even though i got a fat face the round look still makes me look a little bit more feminine because without it i look a little rough sometimes but anyway I do love my hair. I love my micro locks. I am happy I made this decision. I don't know if I told y'all while I chose between micro locks or sister locks, but if I didn't tell y'all already, I'm gonna tell y'all again. I chose micro locks over sister locks for the simple fact I wanted sister locks. I've always wanted sister locks. However, it's really, really hard to find a certified um, sister lock consultant in my area. There aren't many. I think last time I looked, it was like two. And you know, as you can imagine, they are super booked. So I joined this group on Facebook where they talk about micro locks. So I was like, okay, that looks good. And it's literally the exact same thing. The only difference is those are copyrighted and it's a particular grid that they have to have. In my opinion so far, it's almost like the same thing. We both got them interlocked and it's very it's small. Um, and then like let's say if I had to move or if I couldn't get to the person that has to do my hair, it's easier to find a micro lock micro lock. Um, consultant all right so that was my reasoning and why i did micro locks as far as the price goes i believe they're probably about the same thing because i watched a couple of videos and, and the sister locks and the micro locks actually ended up being around the same price so it wasn't a, a price issue i'm not concerned with um with that because your hair is an investment so you know i spend money on crazier things so this one was one of those things that was definitely worth it. All right. So I think that's it. If y'all have any questions, y'all go ahead and ask them in a be in a be um. I'm sorry in the comments or if y'all want to follow me, y'all can follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna put my Instagram up there. Whatever y'all have, I'll make sure I show y'all my retires and all and all of my phases, even my flat hair phases. Thank y'all.